Imagine stepping into a virtual world where you can be anyone you want. A heroic knight, a suave socialite, or a powerful sorcerer. Your digital avatar is not just a representation of your fantasy. It's a gateway to understanding how you perceive yourself and interact with others in the real world. This intriguing phenomenon, known as the Proteus Effect, reveals that the avatars we choose can significantly influence our behaviors, attitudes, and self-perception. Named after Proteus, the Greek god known for his ability to change shape at will, the Proteus Effect describes how the characteristics of our digital avatars can lead to changes in our offline behavior. The concept was first explored by researchers Nick Yi and Jeremy Balenson, who discovered that the attributes of an avatar, such as attractiveness, height, or perceived power, can alter how we act in both virtual and real-life settings. For example, if someone uses an attractive avatar, they may feel more confident and outgoing, even after they leave the virtual environment. The implications of the Proteus effect are profound, especially as virtual reality, VR, and online gaming become more prevalent. Consider the case of a shy individual who, through their bold and charismatic avatar, learns to express themselves more freely. Over time, this virtual confidence can spill over into their real-life interactions, helping them overcome social anxieties and build stronger relationships. Similarly, someone using an avatar that embodies qualities of leadership and authority may find themselves taking on more leadership roles in their daily life. However, the Proteus effect isn't always positive. If someone regularly uses a violent or aggressive avatar, it might lead to an increase in aggressive behavior outside the virtual world. This raises important questions about the ethical design of virtual environments and the potential for both positive and negative impacts on users' behavior. Game designers and VR developers must consider these effects when creating their characters and worlds. One of the most compelling aspects of the Proteus effect is its potential for personal development. For instance, therapeutic applications of virtual reality are exploring how patients can use avatars to practice social skills, confront fears, or rehearse new behaviors in a safe, controlled environment. A person with a fear of public speaking might use an avatar to give speeches in a virtual auditorium, gradually building the confidence to do so in real life. Moreover, the Proteus effect has implications for education and professional training. Imagine medical students using avatars to simulate complex surgical procedures, or employees using avatars to role-play challenging workplace scenarios. By embodying different personas, individuals can gain new perspectives and skills that translate into real-world competence and empathy. The research behind the Proteus effect also highlights the flexibility of our identities. It suggests that our sense of self is not as fixed as we might think, but can be molded and reshaped by our experiences, both digital and physical. This understanding opens up exciting possibilities for self-improvement and psychological growth. Yet with great power comes great responsibility. As we navigate these digital landscapes, we must be mindful of how our virtual personas influence our real-world selves. The anonymity and freedom offered by avatars can be liberating, but they also require us to consider the ethical implications of our online behavior. We must strive to create virtual environments that encourage positive interactions and personal growth. In conclusion, the Proteus Effect is a fascinating testament to the malleability of human behavior. It reveals that our virtual experiences can have lasting impacts on how we see ourselves and interact with the world. As technology continues to evolve, Understanding and harnessing the Proteus effect could lead to innovative ways to enhance our lives and foster better human connections. So the next time you step into a virtual world, consider the avatar you choose. Remember that this digital extension of yourself has the power to shape not only your virtual adventures, but also your real-world identity and actions. Embrace the potential of the Proteus effect and let your digital persona help you become the best version of yourself. And that wraps up today's video. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment down below. Also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Until then, take care.